activist and one of prominent voices in the Niger Delta, Anki Briggs, has said the South South region is currently in a survival mode as agitations and ethnic tensions continue to tear the country apart. Briggs made this known during Zoom conference meeting organized by Njinji Media Group and moderated by the CEO Mazi Tochuku Ezoki on the topic tagged Killer Esme Invasion of Southern Nigeria and the Middle Belt Region Causes and Solutions. She said Nigeria is already dead because it has failed to work for all, as can be seen in the frequent clashes between ethnic groups and agitations for self determination. My aim is survivor of my own Ijo people. Because Nigeria is dead already, it is our own individual ethnic group that is alive, she said in her contribution. She said Nigeria is failed already, and I don't know I don't want my people to fail with Nigeria. I want my people to survive, she added. Briggs humorously noted that God did not make Nigeria. Lugat did. She made this assertion persuading the listening audience to believe that the ravaging Esme attack is slavery in nature and appears to be a vicious battle for hegemony. She strictly warned that the that our independence is paramount and therefore should not be sabotaged by any group. Other participants, including Afeni Ferry and Sokapu, also made their contributions. Speaking during the conference, the spokesman of Afeni Ferry, Yenka Odumaki, noted that the southern region of the country can't continue to live together with northern Nigeria with the 1999 constitution, demanding for new constitution with an option to opt out if you are tired. According to him, we cannot live together with this con constitution. Let us write a new constitution with an option to opt out if you are tired. What we have in Nigeria is a clash of civilization. The Afeni Ferry spokesman accused President Muhammadu Buhari of executing the agenda of Fulani people in Nigeria. Also, in his presentation during the conference, the president of Sokapu, Jonathan Asaki, said the way out of the insecurity in the country is scrapping of 1999 constitution and make provisions for the new constitution. He said there is ongoing agenda of Fulani to suppress every other region to their dictates which they have been able to achieve to some extent in the southern Kaduna, adding that Buhari's regime is taking cover under 1999 constitution to continue to allow Fulani to invade communities across the country. According to him, it is agenda that predates Buhari's government regime, taking over under 1999 constitution to allow Fulani to invade communities, protecting invaders. If you make attempt to protect yourself, you will be detained. There is deliberate plans to supplant and change demography of southern parts of the country and middle base. The Nigeria constitution should be brought down to tackle problem facing the country. Hmm. Okay. Talk, 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 talk. Who is now holding the country? I don't know. I think somebody should be able to answer this question for me. Who is now holding? Because if you see various people now coming together, they are telling, saying this, they are saying that. And I think uh, the Sheikh Gumi was telling us that uh, the leaders of uh, Yoruba leaders and um, Igbo elders, leaders, you know, so to speak, that they are interested in Nigeria. And people told him that uh, the people who are interested in Nigeria are the people who are feeding fat from Nigeria across board. That is why once they have a juicy position, they will be so happy and or maybe they maybe they have a they think they have opportunity of getting that juicy position if they are in line or maybe they are on, on their way to get that a uh, position. They will be telling you one Nigeria, one Nigeria. So really we have a lot of problems and the constitution, because I'm always hearing when people talk about, oh, you are talking about uh, you want to secede, you want to go to your, you want to go your own way, and they will be telling you that there is no, there is no referendum in Nigeria constitution. I, I don't know, I don't get that. There is no referendum. Maybe that is why you see that uh, most of these senators they don't even initiate it in the first place. And from what uh, this man said, Lin Kao said that there should, there should, there should be, the constitution should be rewritten. So that there will be, it will be put in there that if you are tired, you can go. But it's like the way it is now, it is not so. 
Meaning that no wonder Buari will be telling people that the uh, whatever is uh, indivisible or ah, uh, there's a way you usually say that the unity of Nigeria is not negotiable. That is not negotiable. What is not negotiable in this life? If you are going one direction and you know that it's not favoring you, you reverse. Like I said, we have a lot of problems on our hands. First being that if we are talking about the national, at the national level, at the central, the federal government, but the issue now is that it, let us even bring it down. Let's it bring it. Let us bring it down. The issue of state. What happens in the state? We have governors. What do they do with the resources they have in the first place? Because I know that is a the federal problem is, is a different thing altogether. Those who are making points here and there that uh, what is it? Of course, that is a good point. It's a valid point. But if we now narrow it down to each of the states, because some people will tell you that uh, oh, somebody who is a uh, in Kaduna, the governor of Kaduna, I mean, I mean Delta State. It is not the governor of Kaduna that is marginalizing me. I have my governor in Edo State. What and what has he done? Because he gets money, he gets allocations every month. What does he do to be able to take care of the people? I'm in Edo, I'm from Edo State, for example. So how does he manage that? Oh, maybe you are from Lagos or I'm from Ekogi. How does the governor manage the resources being given to him, even at that level? Because all of them are hiding under the canopy under the guise of a oh the federal government is not doing this of course we know that a lot of powers is still being concentrated at the center we have a lot of problems but if really we want to narrow it down we still have to begin to question those governors begin to question what do you do with the resources because they, some of them will be telling you that uh, oh there are some things that you cannot just go and start doing or tapping from the resources of the of the state uh, you have to take other permission from the federal government and all of that but some people will come and say no that is not true it's just that they are just too lazy there are a lot of things more than many things that they can do but what you see them they will be buying motto for judges they will be buying cars for for the acquaintances the acquaintances here and there do you know just like uh, what happened in uh, your state somebody went to go and buy borrow two billion naira, according to the reports and you are using it to <laughs> to buy cars for those some of them who are not even government officials how does that work so a lot of things and some of the people who are benefiting from this uh, constitution whether they are from the north or from the south they don't even want it they don't even talk about it and some people who have who have a, a mindset to go into government so they want to like ah they should, they should not stop it because once i get they have to get my own share of the national cake but by and large from some of the Gumi, she, Gumi will say that the, the leaders from Yoruba and uh, Igbos that they are comfortable. It is the use that the use are the problems of this country. And some people are like, no, you are getting it wrong. You are getting it wrong. Well, truth, truth is bitter. Full animals not succeed. We will not give them a uh, chance to achieve that fullanization in Nigeria. The South is really draft. It's naive. If not, downright stupid for the South to agree to a new constitution, even if confederation constitution with an option to leave Nigeria if tired in the context of total Fulani, uh, Fulani domination of the military. <clears throat> what will stop a Fulani general from seizing power and forcing a return to the 1999 constitution if the North for whatever reason, began to feel shortchanged or jealous of the South under the few new constitution, and the South or any part of it might find out that the option to leave Nigeria when tired was an empty, unactionable option, as not would have the military forced to refuse or block it. The wise thing is to do is to insist on total secession right now. I just thank God for making people to start seeing the truth. Going down is not the issue now. It is how to get up from disgrace of this nation. Is Nigeria up now? Yes, it is by force to marry each other, north and south. Or is it by force? Uh, God forbid. True, the agenda of the Fulani oligarchy is to change the demography of the um, Middle Bed, South, 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 East, Southwest states by forcefully settling their imported kinsmen on indigenous lands in hope that such settlers would eventually dominate the natives. So guys, let's hear your opinion and let's know your thoughts on this. Thank you.